Just when you thought that your day couldn't get any better, SGC comes out that they have dropped pricing. Stick around. What's going on sports card hobby family? It's another day. It's another sports card video. We are coming back to you with some awesome news on the grading front. Everybody loves price drops and SGC grading channel partner SGC is coming in hot with a couple of specials that I think that you're going to like. They also did announce this morning, SGC Pete came out and he said that over the last six months, they have been grinding away. They have scaled up their operations 40% over the last six months. The machine is getting rolling. It continues to get bigger, stronger. SGC flexing a little bit of muscle. And they have decided that they are going to lower prices. Listen to this. So for basketball cards, $12 for basketball cards. And you might be thinking like, yeah, but how many cards do I have to send in? Or what eras are we talking about? Ultra modern? Any era, any set. You got a Dr. J rookie to send in? 12 bucks. You got a Wemby rookie card to send in, 12 bucks. And they are back to their five to 10 business day turnaround time. As Pete had mentioned, they were a little bit behind, maybe like two and a half weeks, give or take a few days. And they are back to their five to day business day turnaround time. It's something, it's, it's been a hallmark of SGC grading here over the last few years. They are back down to the five to 10 business day turnaround time. There is another special, there is another special, but first we've got our Tuesday shout outs. Card Capsule giving away $25 worth of supplies for our newsletter, our new weekly newsletter. It's gonna be Fridays. The first one drops this Friday and there will be a person picked at $25 free supplies, semi-rigids, top loaders, all the goodness card sleeves. Somebody will be picked to just get $25 of free supplies. We almost have 100 newsletter subscribers, and guess what? There will be more giveaways. Maybe not every single week, but this week we've got the $25. Next week it will be a free slab mag. We got the burnt orange with the red glass. You got a cool Browns card, Bengals card. You got a Wicked Burrow card. You got some Brown stuff. Or you got some Orioles, or you got some San Francisco Giants. There's some cool color match opportunities with the old slab mag. It's about a $25 value. Someone will be picked next week for that slab mag, so make sure you jump on the newsletter train. There will be a link down below in the video description as well as in the pinned comments. Wooten Sports Cards, you're on whatnot, you're trolling around. Man, where can I find some amazing cards? Wooten Sports Cards, almost 12,000 followers, five-star reviews on the Whatnot Machine. Definitely check out Wooten Sports Cards immediately. You want to sell a collection, but you don't know who to call, JustCollect.com. They've got a very easy appraisal form, contact information, very easy to get a hold of and get a response from the folks at JustCollect.com. Get your collection appraised today. VintageBreaks.com, if you want to try out Vintage Breaks, $20 credit to you if you mention Sports Card Dad in one of their live streams. They're always running live streams on the YouTube, and you can also go to VintageBreaks.com, but all sorts of different cool vintage set breaks and different things they're doing. $20 credit for new customers if you mention Sports Card Dad in their live stream chat. And the other announcement that was made, $9 Series 2 special. It's going to be coming out here, $9 in the coming days, so stay tuned for that. But they're going back to those, those specials that everybody loves at SGC. I gotta say quickly too, I am so happy for this group. SGC works their absolute tail off. They provide great value. See them continue to scale up over the years. If you look back, going back to the pandemic area, they were really one of the only grading companies that stepped up there when PSA had to shut down the huge backlog. They had to get caught up and they did get caught up. But now SGC has just kind of continued to do their thing. Collectors purchased them. There was a lot of, oh man, what's going to happen to SGC? Now they're going to turn into PSA of the South. And it just hasn't happened like that. Last month they did 175,000 cards. That is almost double their output from 12 months ago, year over year. And now they have increased capacity, continuing to increase capacity. With grading companies, that's always a big thing too. You know, it's one thing to be able to offer a great price. It's one thing to be able to offer a great product and a great service, 
but you have to be able to handle the volume that is coming your way. Obviously, PSA got so much business going back to the pandemic that they had to revamp everything. Nat Turner comes in, completely revamps the place. They had to improve all sorts of efficiencies and technologies. And now we're all seeing the benefits of that with PSA really humming on all levels. Globally, they're growing. And we've got SGC, who is also doing very similar things. They're improving their operations, they're improving their efficiencies, and they're increasing capacity to where now they have the ability to do more and more cards. So this is exciting for, look, if you are a card collector, you're greater, this is good news. We want to have some healthy competition in the space, and we've got some good companies in here that are battling it out, and it's good. Some great news here for SGC folks. That are, we're so spoiled with that five to 10 day turnaround time, and it has been two and a half, sometimes three weeks to get cards back. It looks to be that we are back to the five to 10 business day turnaround time. So congrats to all the folks over at SGC. Collecting community as a whole benefits from it. Guys, have an amazing day ahead. Stay healthy. Stay awesome. I'll talk to you again later.